So what's the secret to using the Jira software? If you're a Scrum master, Agile project manager, or engineer, then chances are that this is the software that you'll use to lead your Agile projects. If you're not familiar with it, Jira is an Agile project management software that's created by the company called Alassian. It's also a tool to track issues and bugs if you're creating new software applications. Oh, and fun fact, when it was first created by their developers, its nickname was called Bugzilla, since the software was first created to track bugs. And now the software name comes from the Japanese word for Godzilla, AKA Godzilla, which is Gojira. And that my friend is how we got Jira. Interesting, right? As we get into this video, have you used Jira before? And if you have, what questions do you have about Jira. Let me know your thoughts. I'm here to serve you. So drop me a comment down below and I look forward to hearing what you think in our comments below. So let's talk about how does Jira work? Well, Jira is one of the gold standard software tools that you'll use if you're managing a project that follows the Agile framework. Now, if you're a complete beginner and you're not familiar with it, the Agile framework uses an iterative approach to develop a product. Think of it happening continuously in repeating cycle loop and then releasing the product incrementally to the customer. So if I had to summarize it in one sentence, here's what Agile is. Agile promotes early delivery of a working product to the customer, obtaining their feedback during every iteration and having the flexibility to adapt to changing requirements. Plain and simple, that's it. So with Jira, it was originally developed to track bugs and manage software projects. But of course, with time, it evolved to be this versatile platform that can be used in different industries. So you have IT and marketing to operations and even new product development in consumer goods, the medical space, or even manufacturing. When you're using the Jira software, there are two popular Agile methodologies that you can use. You have either Scrum and Kanban. And of course, you can tailor your workflows and customize it to fit your company's needs and the context of your project. Let me show you what that looks like inside of Jira. To follow along with me, sign up to Jira to create your free account using my link down below. That way, you'll have your own admin access to create projects, and you'll have even more privileges with how you set things up. Now, if you'd like to dive deeper and learn how to use Jira and play around with the project that I'm using, you can download my free guide to mastering Jira at alvinthepm.com forward slash free guide. All right. So inside of Jira, this is what my user interface looks like for a project that I created previously for an e-commerce software shopping app. On the left-hand side, we have all the features that we can access. So timeline, backlog, active sprints, calendar, reports, and other ones which are listed below it. On the topmost header, you have different menus for your work, projects that you're working on, filters, so you can search for issues across all your projects and save them as filters. Then you have dashboards for quickly seeing and tracking your project status. And then you have creating teams for your company and then another area for planning tools. And the last panel here is software applications that integrate directly with Jira. So Slack and Figma, just to name a few. And last but not least, we have the most important button that you'll ever use with Jira. And that is the blue create button. Anytime you're trying to create a new user story, task, bug, or epic for your project, you're going to use this button. Now, the two most important areas in Jira that you'll use the most, whether you're a project manager, a scrum master, a product owner, or just a member on your team, that's the backlog feature and the Kanban board. So let's first talk about the backlog feature inside of Jira. This is your entire product backlog of work for your project. 
This literally has everything from your user stories, your bugs, and any tasks or subtasks. You see, with agile projects that follow the Scrum framework, you input your work as user stories, which you can see in this list right here. Just like a normal project, you can assign each user story to a specific team member. What I love about using Jira is that it's just, it's so easy to see who is working on what and under what epic each person is working on. So if you look at this user story right here, at the top of our backlog, we see that this one is assigned to me, Alvin, and it's associated with the epic for the shopping interface. What's also great about Jira's backlog feature is that you can easily prioritize the work. In general, you want your most important items to be at the very top, and then the least important items to be at the bottom. You guessed it. To do that, all you have to do is left click your mouse and choose one item in the backlog. Hold your left mouse button and then drag and drop it above or below it. For our example, let's say that the one we selected is the most important thing we need to work on. We'll go ahead and we'll drop it to the very top of the backlog. The items at the top of your backlog have the most important priority and they represent the most value to your customer. So the ones at the top, those user stories are the ones your team should focus their efforts on during the next upcoming sprint. Pretty easy to use, right? It's kind of like you're creating your own wish list for your birthday. You might prioritize the most important things you want at the very top, like getting the new iPhone that you've been dying to get your hands on. And then the ones that are the least important to you, you put them at the bottom, like getting a book you want to read. Now, let's talk about the Kanban board. You access your project's Kanban board by clicking on the left button on the side for active sprints. Right now, we're not actively running a sprint, so nothing is being shown on the screen. For our example, this is the Kanban board that shows the different states of our workflow and the progress for each user story. So for our project, guess what? We have four columns set up for to do, in progress, to verify, and done. You use each column to track your team's progress with their work for your current sprint. So when you set up your sprint, you'll see these visual cards for each user's story that's being worked on. Again, from my experience as a project manager, it's a very visual way to see how things are progressing at a quick glance, just like that. Super helpful. Want to know how to set up your very first sprint in Jira? It's easy, my friend. But have you already smashed that like button? It shows me your support, and it's one way for me to know that you like this kind of content. So to set up your sprint, let's go back to our backlog module. At the very top area of our screen, we see our next sprint that we're planning. Inside, you can see that we already have a list of these different user stories that we want to work on. But let's say that you want to add another user story for this next sprint. Well, it's easy. Scroll to your backlog and let's right click on this user story. At the top of our pop-up menu, we can choose move to and then the sprint that we'll include it in. And right away, that user story has been added to the bottom of our sprint backlog. To start the sprint, all you have to do is click on the blue button at the top right for start sprint. For duration, let's leave it for two weeks in duration. And for start date, let's pick February 10th. And then we'll click on the blue start button at the bottom right corner. And when we do that, we'll see that our Kanban board has now been populated with all the user stories that we listed. One quick hack is that you can group your Kanban board into different categories. If you move your mouse to the group by feature, you can group it by the person it's assigned to or even by the epics that the user stories and bugs they're classified under. From my personal experience, I like to group things based on assignee so it's easy to see what they're working on and which items are at a roadblock and they still need a little bit more attention to. In our example, a few items still need to be verified and this could be a bottleneck for our team and cause some delays something that we might need to bring up to our team 
if we want our sprint to be successful. Aren't you glad you're watching this video to learn some of the techniques I use as a project manager? So now's the time to make this as interactive as possible so you can just dive in and start getting hands-on learning. I want you to create your first Scrum project in Jira. To get started, first sign up using my link down below to create your own free Jira account. After you create your Jira account, you can create your project by moving your mouse to the projects tab at the top of your screen. Then move your mouse to the create project. And let's select that. When you do that, you can choose specific templates for your project. So for example, software development, work management for tracking tasks, marketing, human resources, finance, and just the list goes on. If we pick the one for software development, we see on the right-hand side several options. Kanban, Scrum, top-level planning, cross-team planning, product discovery, product roadmap, and bug tracking. Let's say that we select the Kanban template. For the Kanban template, we can track our work using a simple board and limit our team's work in progress. So it's very comprehensive if we want to create a Kanban project. Now, if you want to pick the Scrum template, we can pick our upcoming work into a backlog and then organize our cycles of work into sprints. For now, let's say that we pick the Scrum template because when we do that, we'll then be given a choice of what project type to create. For example, let's say that this is company managed. Afterwards, we have to input our project details. Let's call our project gaming software app. After we do that and we click on the next button, then Jira will take just a few seconds to think about you know, processing the back end, and then we'll create your project on the back end side of things. Once that's done, you can then connect your work to your team repository, like with Confluence. You should now see this interface with your sprint board right here. And if you open up the panel on the side, you can go to the backlog section of your project. Now, the next step, of course, is to create your epics and your user stories so you can start leading your team with sprints. To learn everything you need to know about using Jira, watch this video next, and I'll see you in the next video.